What's up guys, Heatfire Ash here. And I'm gonna be going over sort of a way to train your invention and to get those perfect uh, invention blueprints. And there are a couple guys out there that kind of show a way to do it. It involves a whole bunch of numbers and basically memorizing a pattern um, that you'll go through every single combination of blueprints until you get the exact one that's a perfect blueprint. Now, that certainly does work, but it can be time consuming and you either have to memorize this long thing of numbers or pull up this sheet and then I found it a little difficult. I would always get lost in the middle and um, it just wasn't the best way for me. So I found another way to do it that I think is much easier in my opinion. You don't have to memorize uh, any crazy number pattern. There's just a very simple uh, method of moving around the blueprint pieces. That will um, basically get you to that perfect blueprint very easily. All right, so to show off exactly how to get these perfect inventions, I'm going to show you in paint really quick just so I can have uh, more time and easily sort of be able to show you the theory behind um, how this exactly works. So the first thing to understand is that there are the different levels of inventions. So there's poor, satisfactory, good, excellent, and perfect. Now, this method um, basically goes along with the fact that at any point, you are one move away from the next rating. So what that means is that if you are currently at a poor invention, you are one move away from a satisfactory, and then so on and so forth down the line. And we're gonna use that uh, knowledge to our advantage to get this to work. So. This is how you start out. I'm using these boxes here to just kind of show, um, to emulate what it would look like if you were actually doing this for real. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start here on the right and we're gonna move this one box over. So we're gonna move it like this. All right, after we move it one, we are gonna then check to see if we went up another rank. So if we were poor, we're gonna check to see if we're satisfactory or if we're excellent, we're gonna check if we're perfect. Um, so on and so forth for the rest. So we move it, let's say um, either it didn't change or it got worse. Then if that happens, we're gonna go and we're gonna move it back. All right. Then we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna move this to the next position. Once we move it to the next position, we're gonna once again check, did it get better? Did it get worse or the same? If it got better, then we're gonna, you would stop here. But if it got worse, we're gonna go ahead and again, move it back to the beginning, like that. And then once again, we're gonna go and we're gonna move it to the next spot. If it still didn't get better, we're gonna move it back. And then one more time, we will go to the very last one. All right, so uh, once again, even at this point, it can, um, you know, fail and not have been better. And if that is the case, uh, let me try to erase some of this. All right, so at that point, um, nothing still got better. You're going to move on to the next one. So you would go on to the second block and you would try to move it until you get a better, um, a better rank. So. Go ahead and move that one there. If it's not better, you go there. And then you can kind of see the pattern here. You're just basically moving it around to each position until you get a better outcome than you had before. And you basically just keep switching this around the entire, the entire way down. Um, also, don't forget, once you're past this last one, you also will need to try to move it here. Even though we did technically already try this, it's just a good habit of moving it because you're gonna need to test each one. So say none of those work, we can erase these. And then we'll move on to the next one. So here, so we try to move it this way. Doesn't work, move it back. Try this way, doesn't work move it back and so on and so forth. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm doing there is you just have to take a block and move it one space. If it's better, you keep it. If it's not better, you move it back to where it started and then you try a different space and you just do that all the way down the line until it gets better. So 
Uh, let's start from scratch here again, and let's just say, uh, all right, we move it here, and it's better. It's better here, okay? So, in that case, we are going to now start over. So, once it's better, we're going to start our whole theory over again. So, we moved it here. It's better. Now, we're going to start again. I'm going to use blue just so we can see the different movements. So, um, because we moved this, we know this is better. So, now we're going to start once again on this, and we're going to try to move it there. If it's not better... Once again, move it back. Then we're going to go to the next one. If it's not better, move it back. And we'll go to the last spot. And say that was better. And say now we're on an excellent. Say that got us to excellent. We're going to start over once again. And I'll use, let's see, what's a good color? Um pink I guess <laughs> all right and we're gonna start and we're just gonna do the same theory over again so pink we're gonna move to there if it's not good we go back pink move it again move it back if it doesn't work and you guys kind of hopefully can see the theory here behind this and then basically you just keep going through this the whole way and the the idea behind this is not necessarily it'll be faster than some of the other methods but hopefully it's easier just to remember and that you can kind of get the hang of doing this without having to pull up like a spreadsheet of like these number codes and then trying to memorize these numbers. I just found that a little bit hard and hopefully this is a little bit easier for you. But anyway, I'm going to go into the game now and actually show you it how it works in the game. Okay, so now that we're in the game, we're going to go ahead and get into the inventor's workbench. First, I got to drink an extreme invention potion because I've already got all my blueprints for my level and by the way this is kind of just a good thing to use anyway it boosts your level so you can get uh, extra blueprints that you don't have the level for yet if you didn't know about that so go ahead and drink that and then discover and there's a whole bunch in here but we'll just use this one for now and um, yeah just randomly cl cl click these until you get what you need and all right having some bad luck with this that's okay okay now I'll just randomly cl click these in any order all right so we're on good which means we got to go up to excellent and then perfect so we're gonna use our same method here starting on the right we're gonna move one satisfactory so we went down so we're gonna move it back and then we're gonna move it to the next slot all right we got excellent so that means we're one move now away from perfect so we start up to the next we go back to the right side and start over again so we're gonna move it one Satisfactory. All right, we move it back. Now, I'm not going to move it to this one because that was the move that got us um, to excellent. So I already know that's not going to make it better. So we're going to go to this next one. Very good. All right, that's worse. So we're going to move back. Uh, we're going to go to the next one. Satisfactory. Okay, that wasn't better. So now we're going to move on to the next block and we're going to move it one. Very good. All right, that's worse. So we move it back. Move on to this good that's worse so we're gonna move it back again go to this last one and perfect so there you can see um, exactly kind of how it works out pretty easily I'll do another one here just in case um, you didn't fully get it on that one method or in case you don't believe me and think it's a fluke or something all right gotten that one pretty quickly so let's go ahead now we're at satisfactory so we're kind of at the bottom so we need to go to good um, excellent and perfect here so once again start on the right side move it one satisfactory that's the same so we'll move it back go to the third slot satisfactory that's the same go to the last second to last poor all right that's definitely not good and then move it to the very last one good all right we moved up from satisfactory to good so back to the right side and we're gonna start our pattern over again move it one satisfactory that's worse move it back move it to the middle we're now on very good so once again go back to the right and start the pattern over move one to the left okay good um, move it back this is the one I just did so obviously that's not gonna be good and move it to the gear satisfactory that's no good move it on the very last one and that's also worse so now we're gonna move over to our second block move it over one satisfactory that's worse Move it over here. Very good. 
It's the same as we had, but we'll keep doing our pattern. Moving to the last one. And uh, we actually got lucky there. We got a perfect um, on that one, which sometimes that'll happen. But um, basically, we could have kept... If this didn't work, we would have moved it back and then just moved on to this next one. So anyway, hopefully that uh, made sense to you guys and you could understand how we're using that pattern to kind of figure out and move up one step at a time and eventually get to perfect. Um, I know figuring out this method really helped me and I didn't have to try to memorize that number thing um, because honestly, I would always get really, really lost when I would try to do that and I'd have to restart it from the beginning. So I find this much easier and hopefully you guys will too. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and it's going to help you guys out. Um, if you did like it, uh, please think about subscribing so you can stay up to date on all of my latest content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next video.